our band has always tried to be the forefront of of cutting edge technology when it came to the fan site. Um, before, when we first started, a fan site was something that you you know you signed a piece of paper, you sent it into a PO box, and then maybe you got a T-shirt or a stuff of stickers or something, and, and, and a form letter. Or maybe it just there wasn't there wasn't really like too much incentive to be a fan member. But then, um, but we we created an online fan site, and um, and it just took off, and then that became kind of became the model for every band after that. And so, uh, so now, I mean, I uh, know what happened is I started thinking about a solo record, and I realized that it was going to be too hard. Just the bass player for the Dave Matthews Band comes out with a solo record, and it's like, you know, it's not. It's one of those things where, in, in the history of, of of music, and most most people that do that, the solo record isn't doesn't something that carry because everyone just sees it as the bass player for the Dave Matthews Band. And so I decided that I'd start a website. So I started izstyle.com. No idea what it was going to be. And this was maybe about eight years ago. And I just decided that I just wanted a platform to express myself um, so people could see me outside of just the Dave Matthews Band bass player. And, um, and so it worked, and for a little while, it was cool. Like people were signing up and talking. I would do little blogs on and stuff. And then MySpace came up, and it was like MySpace came and basically obliterated my whole concept because my concept was MySpace. But all of a sudden, I signed up an account to MySpace, and I had like 400 more people, you know, becoming my friends on MySpace than on my own IZ Style site. So the IZStyle.com, I sort of left that to the side. Um, and I went into MySpace, and then from MySpace I went to Facebook, and then from Facebook I went to Twitter, and next thing I know is I had a voice with the fans, and and it's and now it's gotten to the point where I can real I can I say something I have to really be careful about what I say because people can take it one way or the other, and sometimes I don't mind that because I like a little bit of controversy, but. Um, at other times, it's also I, I also was the one who wanted to go out there and squash the rumors. Um, and, and throughout the course, there was a lot of rumors. There's a lot of people pretending to be us online, and I would find out. I go straight to the source and I ask BTA, "Do you have a Twitter account?" He's like, "What's Twitter?" I'm like, "All right, guys, <laughs> that guy's fake. You know, don't talk to him. Don't he think he's pretending to be BT?" And uh, so I think I sort of gained the trust inside the community and now um now it's just you know it's fun it's a promotional thing if something happens like the uh uh like the grand canyon adventure if i score something i can just t start talking about it they love hearing about the homework um i've been posting about homework and i think people are starting to think i'm crazy because it's like four in the morning and i'm like okay hey, still working <laughs> and they're like when do you sleep i actually said the other day i said don't say it. I know I need to go to bed. <laughs> but uh, it's been a lot of fun for me, and, um, and I think it seems the fans enjoy it. So something I'll keep doing.